Hi guys, and welcome back. In today's video, I want to show you how to actually use Adobe Connect from a participant standpoint. This is for those of you who are not actually running your own Adobe Connect sessions, you're just attending them and you've never attended an Adobe Connect session before, so you're not sure what uh, features you have access to. So what I want to show you is pretty much start to finish everything that a participant can interact with. Now if you take a look at my screen right behind me, you'll notice that I'm right now on the login screen, because this is going to be the first thing that a participant interacts with. Now you'll see two fields normally when you get to this screen, the first one being a guest field and the other one being a login field. Now, if you are just accessing an Adobe Connect Room as a guest, go ahead and click on that guest field. It should automatically be selected for you and type in your name there uh, and go ahead and try and type it in correctly first time. I never do it the first time. Uh, once you have your name typed in, full name is always preferable when you are doing this. Go ahead and hit enter room. Now what will happen is your Adobe Connect room will now open on your computer and you'll access it from that participant's perspective. So it might take a few minutes to load up here, but once it does load up, you're going to be able to see a lot of features within this room. Now the first thing that you'll be able to notice is up here in the very top left, your name now appears inside of that attendees list. So I am here listed out as a participant. But really where I want to start is in the very bottom left hand corner. Now this is our chat pod. The chat pod is your ability to have that nonverbal communication with others inside of the room, whether it be the host of the session or just another colleague that you have in that room with you. Uh, all you simply need to do is go down here to the very bottom, write your message. Uh, I'll just go ahead and hit say, <laughs> I'll hey, uh, say hey, uh, I'll go ahead and type that. And you can either hit enter or you can hit this little text bubble over here. And you'll notice that is now in my chat pod. So again, it's like a basic instant messenger. However, there is another advanced feature that you might want to know about uh, if you want to customize some of your text. In the very top right hand corner, you will see a button. This is known as our pod options button. And from there, you can do things like change your text size and text color. Now, if you do change text size, it just changes it on your connection. It doesn't change it on anyone else's connection. And it just gives you the ability to see things in a much larger view if you uh, have a hard time seeing that smaller text. But if you do want something that is seen throughout everyone else inside of the room, go to change my color. And you can pick from any of the colors that you see here. I'll go with one of my favorites, green. Uh, how are you? And I'll submit that and you'll notice now that shows up in green. Now this is going to be something that shows to everyone in the room. There's a bunch of different reasons why you can have this uh, and it comes very practically in a lot of other sessions if you're working by groups or there's just different color customizations you want to do. Again, completely optional, completely cosmetic, but the option is there for you. Now, let's move all the way over to the right from that, and you'll see that there's another pod that we have in the room in which you can submit questions. Now, a lot of the times, it's really dependent on the person who is running your session, uh, whether it be the host or the presenter, they might pick or choose whether they want to use the chat pod or the Q&A pod. Now, this is the Q&A pod. It's a little bit different than chat because it's a moderated uh, conversation within the room, meaning you submit questions and you and everyone else will see those questions once they are answered by the host. So to do that, very similar to what we did before, go down here to the bottom, write your question out, and then just go ahead and either hit enter or go all the way over here to the very right of that and then click on that text bubble and your question will be submitted. Now once someone answers that question, it will actually show up like this once you get that answer. So uh, keep your eye right below this one right here. If that is submitted, it will actually show up grouped together, question and answer. And this will be throughout all of the different questions that are being asked through this pod. Um, sometimes it will show up in red and it might say private afterwards. Uh, and that just means that that uh, submitter had submitted that privately. So now only you are the person that sees that response in that pod, no one else. So if you're wondering why some of them show up in red and say privately next to them, it means that they uh, submitted that question privately to just you. All right, moving right along here to the next pod that we have over to the right of that is our file download area. Sometimes a host or presenter inside of their room will put a, a pod in which you can download some resources directly from that Adobe Connect session. Now to do this, you simply just grab the resource or just click on it uh, that you want to download, go to the very bottom of it, 
and click download files. Now this will download that file directly to your computer so you can have it if you need it at any point in time. But if you want a really quick tip, if you hold shift or you actually just hold the control key down and click the files that you want, you can download multiple files at a time. So you do not have to do this one at a time, you can actually do this for multiple files at a time. All right, we're getting through most of the features here. There's only a couple more to get through. Uh, and I want to take us all the way over here to the right-hand side of the screen because another way that hosts will interact with you during session is through something called a polling question. Now, these are two different types of polling questions that I have. Now, at the very top, I have a multiple choice question. You'll see these from time to time, and it's basically you picking from a pool of responses that we have here. So I can go through and I can say, how familiar am I with Adobe Connect? Well, I'm brand spanking new there. So I can select that, and then I'll be able to see that I voted on that because I do have that radio button. Sometimes your host will even offer you the ability to broadcast those votes out. So at the end of a voting session, they might click on a button and show you the results over here on the right hand side so you can see a breakdown of what everyone else voted on inside of your room. It's a great icebreaker, it might be a quiz type feature that they utilize, but it is a way where you can interact with your hosts. Now below that, we have a little bit of a different polling question. This is short answer, and it really allows you guys to get pretty creative with your responses. It's open-ended, so you can pretty much say anything that you want. Now for me, my favorite food, as it has been for the last 25 years of my life, is pizza. So I'll go ahead and I'll write that response, and I'll just click enter, or again, you do have this little button that says send answer. When you do that, that answer will be submitted and it will show up in this box down here. Now again, this box might not appear for you and that's mainly because the host or presenter might not have those broadcast results on. So if you see that that box is not there, it just means that your host has not um, broadcasted any of the results yet, like we have up here uh, with the data that you see uh, next to the brand new option. All right, two more features to get through, one of them being related to the content that's being shared here in the center of the screen. Now, my host has a video playing inside of the room. This could easily be a PowerPoint, a whiteboard, a PDF file, any of those things. But I, again, have poor eyesight here, so I need to see this a little bit larger for myself. So up here in the very top right, I do have a full screen button. This will then bring everything into full screen, so that is what I'm focusing on. Now you will notice I actually don't have access to any of those other pods. That's because this is a toggle. Any point in time you want to toggle this on or off, just go right back up to that very top section, top right, Click on that full screen button again, and it will bring you right back down into the room. So if you want to ask a question, you will have to toggle that on or off to get access to those other pods that we've talked about today. Now, final feature of the room here for participant. Up here at the very top of the screen, you're going to see a little man raising his hand. Uh, if you click the drop down next to that, it actually gives you all of these different status icons within the room. So, of course, you can raise your hand if you have a question, but there's other nonverbal ways that you can interact with your hosts. You can agree, disagree based on something that they're saying. You can indicate that you've stepped away really quickly so they know not to call on you if you're in a meeting. Or even down here, these are just subtle cues to let your presenter know, hey, that was really funny, or hey, that was really great, or just, hey, can you slow down a bit? You're talking really quickly right now. Uh, when you select these, what you'll notice is, it does appear next to your name, and your presenter gets a little notification on that. So you can actually notify them very subtly to either speed up, slow down, talk softer, or talk louder. Or again, just give them some kudos with that applause or that uh, smiley face that we have here, that laughter. So guys, that's really uh, what a participant can do inside of these Adobe Connect Rooms. You have a lot of different ways that you can interact with your host, provided they give you these features during that session. Now stay tuned to more videos that we produce every single week. Take care and have a great rest of your day.